Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Cincinnati Bearcats and the Houston Cougars. Number three is, brings a calm senior leadership that his team needs on the floor. Yeah, Brad, a senior leader is the guy who the team can't count on for support. This kid is no exception. The Cougars will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Cougars are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. Number one, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Next, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Trying to draw some contact. You betcha. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. They move it into the front court. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially wow. against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Now trying to feed the low block. On the dribble, gives it up. He bombs from outside. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. They go into the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. Tickles a twine. Look at that spacing. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Up and inside. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He unloads. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Trying to feed the low block for the bucket. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. The shooting guard receives the ball. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Flowers handles the feed. Oh, what a strip, Red. Here they come now on a turnover. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Looking for a good shot. He launches the bomb. Makes it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Check this one out.
Has a nice look at the basket. He nails the shot. Down inside. The skip pass is picked off. Dunn handles the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Let's it fly. The student body is rocking tonight. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. <laughs> Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. The center receives the pass. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any opening. Pressure in the basketball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The ball goes out of bounds. in the paint but went elsewhere he tries the three ball drains it Pushing up basketball. on the outside for two great play to take that to the basket Double team now, bad angle. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Here's another look, Dick. They work the perimeter. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. And the ball goes out of play. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Flowers is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Number 45, pump fakes. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. They work it around the perimeter. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. Good job defensively. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. 
Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. It sticks. Let's rewind that. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. These three balls are hitting from everywhere. That's right, Brad. I saw one come from the hot dog stand and not too long ago. On the outside. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? Top of the circle. Gets it to go. The Cougars have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. In the paint. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to draw the foul. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you could have a field day against these guys. Why don't you put a uniform on? Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Controlling the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. And a momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a good shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble attack here and turns it over. Looking for a good shot. Looking for contact. Drains the shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. Here's a double team. He shoots from outside. Got it. He 
He makes a nice shot fake. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball on his deck. Where's he going? They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. shot clock. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Moving it around the perimeter. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gets it to fall. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He attempts the three. He drains the shot. From downtown, sinks the shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Double team now, bad angle. And they get the turnover. Working it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. 
Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. For two, they are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's going nowhere. Ball going nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. There's a double team waiting there. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Gave it up. He dials long distance. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Daddy's on fire. for two for one. He shoots from downtown. They let him get into a rhythm. <laughs> Looks at a three. Buried it. Let's take a look at that last basket. Up fake. There's the fake. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Thanks. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. At the end of the first half, the Bearcats are behind by 23. Houston shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. Number three, he's receiving a lot of support from the fans. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. I think that's why college basketball has the following and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Ring, ring. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Well, we're still laying a foul, but the coach not happy in the sideline. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Perfectly executed. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you're a great post play, you got a chance to really win. Dump set in. He's got to get rid of it. Tries for two. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. For the bucket, off the rim and no good. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts up the tray. He gets the bucket to fall. Tries to get the D to bite. Gave it up. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball? He gets the rejection. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes the shot. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking for a good shot. He fouled him. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Puts up the tray, goes. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Fakes a jumper. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Adam, momentary look from three point land. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Up and inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. They're working around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And back they come the other way. And the jam. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Entry pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Sinks it. Cue up the replay, fellas. Working around the arc. Time to pick up the defense here now. Jumps in. He forces another bad shot. That is not all you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. They push it up on the break. And the slam. Working it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That's an ill-advised shot. Count it, and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. To the charity strike. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Up and inside. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. the beginning his game face was on and he understands it's his time to perform let's send it back to you thanks Aaron excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps on the dribble gives it up he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier Break possibility coming for the bucket. Up, easy one. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage. Great effort defensively. He says, Thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Inside. On the inside. 
whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. The Cougars are ahead by 28. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Easy one. The Bearcats have a tendency to recruit some athletically gifted players. Hey, their systems are suited for great athletes. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. perimeter coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion shoots from outside that's good they work the perimeter picks off the lazy pass Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Tries for two. The romp is on, baby. This one's gotten ugly. Here's a double team for the bucket. Perfectly executed. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Look at that spacing. And the ball goes out of bounds. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. Drains it. Moving it around the perimeter. He up fakes. He wants a three. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the trifecta. He makes the shot. That's a 7 nothing run. It was a good thing he got fouled off that pro hop. I can tell he wanted to do something nasty, Brad. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Ramos steps to the line for the first time. He makes the first. That's an eight-zip run. Those free throws can. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. <laughs> Got to take some pride on a defensive end. He shoots from the top of the key. He looks for the bomb. 
Cincinnati are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. And now they'll bring it up. Jumps into the defender. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks off the pass. And the fans here are loving the action. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have it. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. He makes the block. Gave it up. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He unloads a three. Great shot. That's worth another look. Double team now, bad angle. He made great use of the screen to put up an easy score. It back to the outside. They move it into the front court. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside. Now the high screen. He fires away. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. Terry look from three-point land. Goes for the deep one. Comes up short. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. A strip of the basketball got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Working it around the perimeter. He goes for three. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. It's good. They'll work it around the arc. Dump it inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. 
Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. On the outside. Tries for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we're going to look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nessler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. That's a great defensive effort being all over the ball. They get the five-second call. to the circle. Nice shot. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Screen. He gets it to go. Manley in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He tries to knock down the three. Nice shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. There's the trap. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Got some room. Time's up, Dick. How does a team just flat run out of time like that? Hey, Brad, when a defense is playing like these are, the offensive players become unsure of what shot to take. So obviously, this waste time. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. With a great block. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle.
Houston walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.